have a haul to share with you today. I've uh, got some quite exciting things, not too much, but some of them are a little bit different to what you would normally see on my channel. Uh, first of all, I have to mention the earrings that I'm wearing at the moment, if you can see. Um, about, I don't know, like six weeks ago, oh, no, it was longer than that, in, like the end of August, I entered a competition run by Emma of the Computer Girl, I'll link her blog down below, um, and it was for, uh, it was a jewellery giveaway, and it was just to uh, kind of celebrate her birthday, I think it was her third, uh, her third year of running her blog. And uh, yeah, I entered the giveaway and I thought, I never win anything, like I don't think I've ever won apart from like a bourgeois pencil once, I've never won anything in my life. And so I entered the giveaway and then she contacted me like two weeks ago and said that I'd won. <laughs> and I was absolutely astounded. And what I'd won was these earrings. Now the earrings are by um, a brand called Aurea. This is the beautiful box they came in. And then the thing that's totally different about these is that they're handmade. You can buy this at jewelrybuy.co.uk and I'll link them down below as well because they were the ones that were kind of sent a prize out to me. And um, they are all handmade. These earrings are actually £150. I was <laughs> just, I don't think I've ever owned jewellery that cost £150 in my life. So when she told me that I'd won them, I was absolutely over the moon. They came um, wrapped in the most beautiful paper and, and the nicest note for the people at Jewelry Buy who were just lovely people. And I actually, if you follow me on Instagram, I Instagrammed like me opening this package because I, I knew what it was because I've been waiting for it. So it was kind of exciting anyway because I hadn't seen the earrings in person. Um, and if I just take them out, Ooh, I'm trying to do myself an injury. There we go. If I just take them out, maybe you'll be able to see. They are the most beautiful things. They're actually two hairs dancing, or jumping rather, but I like to think of them as dancing. The two hairs are dancing about, and I just think they are just the daintiest, even though they're actually quite big, I think they're just the daintiest things that I've seen in my life. They're not heavy at all. They're solid um, silver, obviously. And uh, this design actually is not available anymore, <laughs> which kind of makes me love them even more, because they're kind of just like a one of a kind. But if you want to go and look at uh, Jewelry Buy, where they make, um, where they sell rather, all handmade jewelry from these amazing designers, then I'll link it down below. But these are by Aurea, and Aurea make ev like all their jewelry is like this. It's all kind of really dainty and handcrafted, and it's mostly um, animals and birds. And they actually have very similar areas like this in, in gold, which are actually a bird. Like it kind of like it kind of looks like it's on like a branch and like a. I don't know, like, just like a, against a backdrop, the way they've done it is beautiful. You have to go and check out the site, and you have to check out Oreo because, you know, they were kind enough to send them to me, so um, I've never won anything in my life, so I couldn't believe it when she said that I'd actually won this. So thank you so much to Emma for running the competition, and uh, yeah, to the wonderful people at Jewelry Buy for sending them to me. I was just absolutely over the moon. So these, pretty much, I'm going to sleep in them. They're never coming off. Most expensive item of jewelry I've ever owned. And I think, to be honest, the prettiest they're just they're gorgeous so yeah so those that's a I don't you know it's kind of like a collection of stuff it's not just a haul I didn't buy them but I did win them so I was kind of excited all the lights gone a bit funny there we go the sun's coming back out again okay so on to um, oh onto this I have a couple of things this is just amazing and once again if you follow me on Instagram then you will know that I kind of took a picture of this uh, like last week when I got it it's the butter London lips and tips set now, I didn't know Butter London did lip glosses. I know that their um, nail polishes are totally renowned, and I've never tried one. So when I got this, I was really like, ooh, I was, so, I was really excited. Um, it comes with a nail lacquer, which is full size, and a lip gloss. And these are their Christmas sets. They do all sorts of different sets. They do just nail polishes, just lip, lip glosses, and then these two little kind of like, you know, mix and match sets, which I think are fab. This is 21 pounds. I mean, I'll link down below where you can get them, um, if I remember. <laughs> but uh, this one is actually in West End Wonderland, this set. And I have West End Wonderland on a couple of my nails, along with another polish that I'll show you in a minute. But this set is absolutely beautiful. I've never tried a Butter London polish before, and I have to say I'm kind of hooked, which is a bit of a shame, considering that they're quite expensive. <laughs> it's a shame for my bank account, but you know. So this is West End Wonderland, the polish. Just, this is the most beautiful gold. It, it's just, it's a gold glitter, but it has red and green and silver sparkles in it. And it just, it's a 
astonishing. It's so pretty. Perfect for Christmas because it is Christmas soon. I'm very excited. So this is just, this has not come off my nails in over a week. It's beautiful. I just keep repainting it with this color. Um, doesn't chip, doesn't smudge. It is the fastest drying nail polish I've ever used in my life. So that's West End Wonderland. And then the lip gloss. A lot of people have been asking me on Twitter because they saw it on Instagram, what I thought of the lip gloss. Um, and this is actually so strange. It, I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but it, it is kind of like an iridescent gold, but it's got red glitter in it. This is so creamy. It's the nicest lip gloss I've tried in a very long time. So yeah, if you're kind of into Butter London, but you want to try something different, then this set is just gorgeous. And I think quite reasonable for what you get. So that's that. I popped into Boots uh, the other week because they were doing three for two. And uh, I ended up with a little Rivlon, Re Ended up with all Revlon stuff, good to see. Uh, it must be the sun, it's getting to me. And it's all pink. <laughs> so first of all, I'll start with the nail polish. This is the thing I got free, because it was three for two. The nail polish is actually just the, the prettiest thing I've seen, like, ever, I think. And it's, I need to repaint them, they're kind of, it's been on for my nails for so long, it's just ridiculous. But this is what I have on my nails right now. This is Revlon's uh, Sparkling. So pretty, like I mean so so pretty. I'm really into glitter at the moment. Glitter nail polishes, glitter everything. So that's sparkly by Revlon and I have it on a couple of my nails with West End Wonderland. Beautiful. And I picked up two lip products. One of them I'm wearing right now. This is one of the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. And I put off buying these for so long because I didn't like the smell. I don't like anything menthol. Like I really hate it. Um, but actually these, th this one doesn't smell really. It doesn't taste anything so I have that on now. So this is Honey, really pretty, absolutely gorgeous, I really like some of the others, so I was really, really pleased with this and I've been wearing it all the time, it's just such a beautiful colour and I don't have a colour like this. So that is the Just Bitten Kissable Lip Balm Stain by Revlon. And then the last thing I picked up from Revlon, because I wanted another lip butter from theirs for ages and I just thought I really want something for that's kind of appropriate for the season. So this is the Revlon Lip Butter in Berry Smoothie. Um, and this looks like this. Just swatch it. Um, and this pretty much with the I've, I've been like switching them up in tandem. Like I've been using these two, like this one day and this the other day, and I haven't had anything on my lips for like a week apart from these two. So those are my Revlon. While I was in boots, I also picked up a little tiny uh, Le Mans by Coty uh, perfume. Uh, you know, if anyone's actually in the know, um, <laughs> this is like a, pretty much a dupe for Chanel number no. 5. It has obviously slight differences, but pretty much when it's on, it smells like Chanel number no. 5. And I had to pick it up because it was on offer, and I'm actually going to go back and get like the, the full size. <laughs> As you can see, a lot's gone. So this is uh, what it looks like, so classy. And this was really, really cheap at, um, you know, at the time when the offer was on. But they're, they're really reasonable for what you get anyway. So that's just a little inside tip in case you didn't know. It does smell like Chanel number no. 5. Um, a couple of, I think it was a month before last, Beth, who uh, has a blog, Life by Beth, and I'll link it down below if I remember. Um, I did a, a video for Glossy Box, and I said I was really sad that I didn't get the Mythic Orb by L'Oreal, and she said, oh, I've got a full-size bomb, do you like it? And she was so sweet, she was kind of descended to me, and that's just so nice when people are that generous. And it arrived, and I love it. It's the Mythic Orb Color Glow. Um, it's for color-treated hair. I don't, I don't have color-treated hair, I stopped dyeing my hair. About three years ago, I did every colour of the rainbow and I just stopped dyeing it. I just, I don't know, and I haven't dyed it since. But I don't really think it matters. Um, this one is actually, it says you can only get it from your professional hairdresser, so I don't know if you can get this in, in like chemists and super drug and stuff. I'm not sure. But this is really lovely. It smells amazing. I put it on the ends of my hair. I, would, I don't put it near the um, roots, I just put it on the ends of my hair. Um, and a little bit goes a, a heck of a long way. So I really, really like this. It smells lovely. It gives it a really nice shine. It actually kind of brings out the natural highlights in my hair, which I, I really, really like. So thank you, Beth. That was really sweet of you to send that to me. So that's the mythical. And then, oh no, I was going to say finally, but that's not finally. Um, I wore this in my Urban Decay holiday collection video, and so many people were like, oh, I love your shirt. And I was like, oh, yes, I know, because I love it too. Um, and this is the shirt I was wearing in that video. I've been wearing it actually ever since I got it, but I've just kind of had to switch it up to do my videos because I thought, you know what, I can't keep wearing the same t-shirt. People are going to be like, what are you doing? So, yeah, but I have been wearing it pretty much every day. And this is what it looks like. It's a tiny little outlet, and the outlet is actually called Oscar. And as you guys may know, I do have a dog called Oscar. So when I found out that he was actually called Oscar, I kind of squealed a little bit. And this is by a company called Brat and Susie. They're made in London. 
they do the most amazing stuff, especially for this time of year. You want to go and check them out. I'll link them down below. But um, they do the most amazing t-shirts and jersey tops and skirts and stuff. And just absolutely, if you're into like off the wall kind of strange clothing, you would love their stuff. This is so nice. It's really, really warm as well. It's got the inside looks like this. Um, this is thirty pounds, and this is a small. And it's just I've just been wearing it just oh, ever since I got it. So I love it. I love the cut of it. I love the colour, the design, everything. So that's by Brat and Susie. And then finally, finally, this just arrived and I'm kind of in love with it already. Uh, you know I love Neon Luxury Organics. I just, there's nothing I've ever had from Neon that I didn't like. So, you know. Um, they've brought out Christmas gift sets, which are called Scent with Love, as in a scent. Very clever. Um, and they brought out, <coughs> excuse me, my voice is going. They brought out a lot of different um, gift sets for Christmas, and this is the one that arrived today. It's the Travel Candle gift set. Now you're going to my candles, I'm obsessed. But this is just, oh my goodness, this is just the height of luxury. I, I was just so impressed. I mean, with the packaging, because it's beautiful, and this is the box. But also with what was inside. <coughs> you get four little travel candles. And they burn for 16 hours, and, <clears throat> oh for goodness sake, what is going on with me? Uh, it's been cold weather, it's, it's seriously so cold today. But this is what you get, you get four little travel candles, they're one wick candles, they're 75 grams, and they burn for 16 hours, I do believe. And this set is actually 55 pounds. Now, if you have ever looked at a nail candle that is a full size, you'll know you're getting a really good deal with this. And it's perfect for a gift, like, but I'm not giving mine away, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> but... You get these tiny little, well they're not that tiny actually, they're 16 hours, I mean they're, they're, they're really substantial. You get these little candles, they're travel candle set. You get one in Harmonize, which is uh, a layer of green hibiscus combined with deeper woody undertones creating a balsamic unisex blend. Oh, goodness. You also get, uh, ooh, upside down. You also get Tranquility, which I haven't tried, unmistakably lavender but with a modern twist. English lavender is typically a little cleaner smelling than more floral French styles and coupled with fresh basil and jasmine. It's a heavenly relaxing scent. You get one of those. Um, the, whoops, let me go back in there. There we go. The other two, this one is Real Luxury. Known as the cashmere blanket of our scent library, Real Luxury is sophisticated but light and calming. The precious scent of jasmine is combined with a little French lavender and Brazilian rosewood. These actually smell good enough to eat. It's crazy. Their candles are just so nice. They're probably my favourite. And then this one, if it'll want to come out, is Invigorate. Unmistakably fresh grapefruit blended with bergamot and lime. So this is £55. I would pretty much, if you're a candle person, I'd snap it up while you can because they'll probably just sell out like that and it's such a good bargain. So um, yeah. I don't want to light them because they're so pretty and I kind of like them like this, but I will light them, I will. So that's by Neon, that's one of their Christmas sets, and by far my favourite I think. So, I hope you enjoyed that guys, just a little haul, kind of like a mixture of stuff that I've, I've, I've won and, and bits and bobs, but yeah. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, if you've got any questions about any of the products, leave me a comment down below, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye everyone.